I'm really gonna need y'all to help me out on this one. I didn't watch this one, uh, but from what I can tell, it sucked. Bruins lose three nothing to the mm, to the Washington Capitals, just two days after shutting out one of the best teams in the league in the Vancouver Canucks. And from what I've been told, nobody was good tonight. Nobody's good, but good yesterday. Uh, welcome back down into the den. I'm sorry that this is coming uh, from me. Very very tired. Uh, I went to a, I went to uh, my friend's punk show last night. Uh, uh, and I spent the pretty much the entirety of game time, uh, just wandering around to make a play and, and just vibing. And I'm being told that that was the proper decision. Uh, <clears throat> apparently, Swayman was the only good. Uh, Swayman was the only player that was good last night. <laughs> yesterday, and uh, looking at the uh, oh man, looking at the uh, the hockey stack cards. Damn. When Forbort is your best player, you know you fucked up. Geeky was apparently unable to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to string a pass together. In fact, the entire team, apparently, could not string a pass together. I wouldn't know. I wasn't there. I wasn't watching. And you know what? That was probably the best decision. And you know what? For the team, it's probably the best decision to just burn the tape on this one. Like, I... Like yes, there's a statistic part of me that is like no, they need to they need to be able to they need to see exactly where they went wrong on it on every second of this. I don't think so. I don't really think so. <sighs> because let's just call this. Uh, I'm pretty. I think we can call this for what it is. This is a fluke. This is this is just this is just a fluke game. Yes, it is the worst game that the Bruins have had all season, and I know that I keep saying, saying that, and I know that I keep saying that each loss is the worst game that the Bruins have had all season, but no, but no, I, I'm pretty sure we can, I'm pretty sure I can, I'm, I'm pretty sure that if I were to watch this game all the way through, I would probably be able to come to the conclusion that this game was the worst game that the Bruins have played all season. Uh, the frustrating thing is that it came on my dad's birthday, and also, uh, and also. On the 100th anniversary of the NHL, passing the votes to votes to uh, uh to actually allow a franchise in Boston. Yesterday, February February 10th was the uh, was the actual 100th birthday of the Boston Bruins. And. Mm, This is how this is how you celebrate that. Mm. I don't know. I don't know about that one, Chief. <sighs> like I said, this is gonna be bare bones. This is gonna be bare bones. Uh, uh Grizzly apparently got a game misconduct, so uh, really early on, in, so a uh, so having to battle from all well, the pretty much the entire game for five uh, with five defensemen. Is not great. Speaking of which, I just saw that. Uh, speaking of which, I just saw that. Uh, I just watched that game misconduct uh, penalty happen, and uh, yeah, I, th I think I think that's game misconduct. I know we. I uh, know we're. Uh, I know that. Uh, this is not. I know that we don't love to admit when our players do wrong all the time, but yeah, Grizzlick, uh, Grizzlick spearing Matt X Pacioretty. That's a bit. Uh, that's a bit, uh, that's a bit, uh, uncalled for there. Like, that is the type of uh, play that got Alex Ovechkin fined $5,000 for, uh, for spearing Frederick like, three seasons ago. Jesus Christ, it's cr Man, that was back during the freaking COVID season. The, uh, but yeah. Uh, I love, uh. Do I love Grizzly? I don't know. He hasn't been play playing well this season. I like I like Grizzly as a person, but man, that is uh, mm. and I'm I'm not trying to say that Grizzly's uh, that Grizzly getting that game misconduct uh, was what cost us the game, yeah. because I don't because I do not think that Matt Grizzly is enough to uh, to elevate this defense enough to 
uh, to have uh, three uh, uh, to have uh, three goals scored ag uh, to not have three goals scored against us. But starting out with that, that is that is not great for morale, and uh, it, it's sort of like a, it's you know it's sort of like how people bring up the uh, the Marchand. Uh, the uh, the Marsh and uh, uh, line change in Game Seven of 2019. And on the surface, and I keep saying this, uh, and I uh, I keep looking at this from a surface level uh, level perspective, partially because I know that the Bruins have come back from more than this. Yes. but on the surface level, uh, it was one goal that was scored in a uh, in a game that the Bruins lost by three. But at the same time, um, that happening right before the end of the period, uh, right before the end of the first period, is not exactly how you want to go into first intermission. Um, and so, uh, so I don't necessarily think. Uh, again, um, I don't think that that uh, I don't think that line change was what uh, killed the Bruins that uh, in Game Seven. And because I've seen the, I've seen that iteration of the Bruins come back from more than uh, from more than just uh, a, uh, from uh, more than just one goal down, um, the entire offense just could not string a pass together. And also, uh, where was that trip on Bozak? Where was that trip on Tyler Bozak? But in any case, yes, we're not talking about that. We're talking about uh, we're talking about the game that happened uh, yesterday. This was a fluke. This really was a fluke. I don't think that the, uh, this is not a game that is indicative of uh, of the Bruins' playing ability right now. It very much is not, and I don't necessarily think that the uh, game against Vancouver was uh, was one as well. I think that reasonably the Bru uh, the true identity of the Bruins lies somewhere in between there. I think that uh, I think that this team. I hate to say it. I think that the I think that the. Uh, I think that the uh, the ceiling of this team might be it might be game six, it might be a game six of the second round exit. It, it, and yeah, I I hate to say that, it, it, but at the same time, it, the uh, it, but at the same time, like it, we have all these lapses and we have these lapses in in forward play where we cannot string a pass together. Pasternak through. Uh, through like eight through like eight seasons has yet to uh, to develop a uh, has yet to uh, to actually uh, carry the puck uh, properly for more than five seconds and and just the de the defense we leave the slot open way too many times and, and Lindholm had a pretty decent night uh, day yesterday but one thing that I'm missing, one thing that I'm missing from this is uh, Anthony Richard, the rookie, getting his first game in in the bigs. From what I heard, he didn't play the, he didn't play too bad. I mean, definitely. Not, uh, this feels. Y'all, you ever watch the bear? You ever watch the bear? This game, uh, from what I can tell, this game was like uh, this game was like episode seven of season one of the bear review where. Uh, where uh, where uh, where Tina uh, comes in late uh, because her uh, because her kid got uh, suspended and and uh, and uh, Carmi is like hey can you pat uh, hey uh, uh, Sydney can you pat uh, can you take care of uh, of teaching this kid how to uh, how to do stuff around here during the busiest day uh, uh, ever. Or for the for the beef, if, and Sydney ends up quitting, and everybody everybody is running around like a chicken with their head got off. Oh. That's ba that's basically that's basically Anthony Richard walking into this uh, walking into uh, this game. Anyway. Bruins had five shots through the first uh, through the first half of the game. Not great, not great, but again, that that's not what this team is. That's not what this team is. That is not the identity of the Boston Bruins. And I think that the, I think that this is indif this is indicative of our uh, of uh, of uh, of us on our worst day, but I don't think it's indicative of 
of us on a normal day. Mm. We've all had shit days at work. And you know what? We brush it off, pick ourselves back up, and do the whole thing again two days later. That's what you gotta do. We got uh, we got another game two days later. Uh, we got another game on uh, on Tuesday against the uh, against the Lightning. That's gonna be a fun game. Nikita Kucherov is amazing right now. It kind of it kind of pissed me off because I don't really, because I don't really like Kucherov. Man, that's gonna that's gonna be a good game. That's gonna be a good game. It's gonna need and and you know what? This team is gonna need to show up for it for it. Because the because against the Capitals, Capitals aren't really that great. You know, pretty much the the only thing that the Capitals are doing right now is just trying to get Ovechkin the record, which he's still 60, 60 goals off of. And if and he, if he keeps up this trajectory, he it's gonna take him until uh, until it's gonna take take Ovi a lot a lot more than just a season and a half to uh, catch Gretz. Which I hope he does. I really hope he does. It's because it'll make every single Canadian pundit lose their mind. Don Cherry is going to be... Uh, Don Cherry is going to cry until he passes out. And then he's going to wake up from his coma and continue to cry. And I am going to drink every last tear of it. I am going to... Uh, I am going to enjoy me uh, uh, drinking Don Cherry's these tears like they're a nice shanty <laughs> like they're a nice freaking champagne god i hate don cherry it's it's so funny how it's so funny how this how this team has uh has collectively decided to give the nickname him of grapes to apes to uh apes to uh to lauco and it's no longer don cherry it's no longer cherries it's no longer cherry his nickname it's lauco's nickname he's grapes but uh, enough tangent. Y'all are y'all are pretty sick of it. Uh, but uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, please help me out. Even that guy, even that guy, you know who you are. The guy who the guy who has decided to leave hate comments on uh, on a couple of the his videos it was apparently calling me, apparently deriding me for for being queer. Uh, it's not going to stop happening. And unfortunately, unfortunately for you, I will continue to, I will continue to be whoever the hell I want to be. But, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Take care.